Jason Somerville has more than 3.8 million in tournament earnings and 14 career titles, including a WSOP gold bracelet. He recently coached Russell Thomas at the WSOP main event final table, the event that consistently has some of the biggest payout jumps in tournament poker. Because of his deep study of that particular final table, Card Player TV asked him for his insight on how players who are very conscious of moving up the next pay jump can play a low variant style without being incredibly exploitable. You know, when you make big final tables, there's a lot of money at stake, and for a lot of people, that's life changing money. And I think people look at um, climbing up the payout ladder is almost like a bad thing, like you're playing conservative or that you're afraid, you know, and it's not necessarily the case. Like sometimes it's actually the correct strategy to try to climb up, you know, potentially, you know, a million dollar payout jumps in some spots at the main event final table and stuff. So I think that you can do that in such a way where you can just try to kind of play your hands. You know, there's always ways to look at hands. Like someone opens under the gun, you have ace king on the button, you know, like there's times where five years ago, everyone would just be like, all right, I'm all in, I'm gonna re-raise get it all in here. That's not necessarily, although it's certainly a winning play, it's not necessarily the lowest variance and the only way to win you know there's ways that you can still win with ace king by just flatting there and you're still gonna show a profit you're disguising your range a little bit and uh, you by just calling you're kind of limiting your exposure to either a big coin flip or a marginal situation or potentially getting it in really bad you know there's obviously times you're supposed to re-raise get it in for some like crazy guy opening and then yeah you're supposed to be aggressive even then maybe you're still supposed to be you know re raise type but I think there's plenty of situations in poker at final tables where where you can make less uh, less aggressive, lower variance decisions that are still winning that might help you climb up the actual dollar amount payout spots. You know, it really comes down to how much the that dollar amount really matters to you. You know, if you have 100k and the next payout spot is 500k, like okay, yeah, you really want to climb that payout bump. But you know, for if it's like a 50k first place and you have a million bucks, then you want to play to win. And then of course the strategy is different. And uh, identifying other people's strategies and what, how they're viewing the payout spots and potentially attacking or exploiting that and being aware of how they view you is certainly a part of final tables. You know, there was. Um, we had done a lot of research for Russell Thomas uh, at his main event final table, and we had looked at, you know, um, you know, Rob Salaburu was someone that we had looked at a lot, was playing very aggressively, was playing very well, and we had kind of modeled him to be that kind of same way that he was when we were doing our simulations. And at the actual main event final table, he was a little bit more conservative than we had expected. Uh, you know, he was defending a little bit tighter than we had thought. He actually folded a king 10 to a, to a one raise at one point. He played a couple hands very passively, you saw, with like he had the flush and stuff. I think it's totally fine. Whether or not that was the payout, was the reason that he did that, I don't know. But, you know, and also look at like Stephen G, who also came in, you know, guns blazing, first hand, three barreling with King High. And, you know, for him, he, he decided he was going to come in to play to win. So looking at the payout spots and making adjustments to, you know, your own strategy and how others are, you know, making their strategy, I think is an important part of final tables.